doggone it. Don't you just hate being wrong? Me too, most of the time. However, in this case, I'm very happy that I was wrong. Had a client reach out to me about three weeks ago. They were pre-approved. They were out looking at homes and they sent me a home to take a look at. And it was a berm home. Now, what a berm home is, it's a home, it's a home that's built below grade, meaning on the outside of the home, ground comes up the wall to some degree, whether it's a little bit. I think in this case, it came up almost to almost to the ceilings. And the idea is, I guess, that it you get insulation protection from the earth around it and the home becomes more energy efficient when built that way. However, what a lot of people don't realize is that when you buy a home, say a home with a basement, anything that's below grade is not considered square footage. So if this home would have had a second floor, anything on that second floor would have been considered square footage. Anything in the basement area below grade wouldn't have been considered in the square footage of the home. It would have been counted as basement square footage, but whenever you're looking at the appraisal and it says the size of the home, the living area would not have encountered or included the basement area. So this home was entirely below grade. It was a basement home. It was a berm home. And I said, I really don't think this is going to happen. Remember a couple weeks ago, I did a video where I said, I'm not an appraiser and I've learned my lesson. Well, this happened after that. So anyway, this reinforces the lesson that I had at that point. I'm not an appraiser. So we put the appraisal out for bid, sent it to a number of different appraisers and every single one of them rejected it, said they didn't want to do it. They didn't know how to do a berm home or it was too difficult to do a berm home or there wasn't any comps. And finally, we found one appraiser that would accept the order. They did their research. They contacted FHA. This was an FHA deal. And FHA gave them their guidance and great respect and props to this appraiser that went out of their way to do the extra leg work, took the extra time. And when it was all said and done, they did the appraisal. The appraisal went through. Now, they did have to violate some norms, if you would. I don't want to say rules because we wouldn't have got through had it been rules. They did violate some norms. I think they went 122 miles on one comp, and usually they want the comparable sales that they're using to establish the value in a more local area. However, to find berm home sales, this appraiser did have to go outside. That was accepted, and we received the clear to close this morning. We're closing this afternoon, and uh, I'm really happy for this couple that's buying this home. They fell in love with his home. It checked all the boxes for them and um, they're really excited about their new home and I think they're going to be excited about those uh, utility bills as well. So if you're thinking about buying a berm home, I know this appraiser has some comp comparable sales right now. So if you've ever been thinking about buying a berm home, now might would be a great time to do it because the problem normally is one of the problems anyway is the lack of comparable sales and had there not been comparable sales i don't think that we would have been able to uh, get to this point and be celebrating today the way that we are i hope this helps